Entering the portal, Ayaka looked around. Just like when they came yesterday, they were adventurers in different parts of the guild. The difference was how there were more of them near the jobs board where all the requests were listed. I guess we're getting to see the morning rush, Ayaka said to Mizuki. Makes sense. Like getting horned rabbits, I'm sure many of the jobs just need the adventurers to keep getting monsters to turn in. Mizuki answered. The two of them left the polar area and made their way towards the board. Though it was busier compared to the day before, it wasn't to the degree where it was difficult to navigate inside the guild building. There were only a couple of times that Ayaka had to avoid running into another adventurer. A few of the adventurers apologized before heading to where they were going. Due to not only being in the building for a day, Ayaka didn't recognize any of the adventurers. But there were a few of the workers that she noticed that she remembered having met the day before. Each of the guild workers were busy handling tasks to assist adventurers. Ayaka even noticed some of the workers giving an orientation of the guild for new adventurers just signing up for the first time. When they reached the board, Ayaka squeezed towards the front. I'll get you one, so you just wait here, she told Mizuki. Instead of the two of them trying to force their way to the board, it made more sense for just Ayaka to grab the papers since they were doing the same job. It didn't take much time for her to see the large stacks of paper for the horned rabbit hunting request. Not taking any more time, Ayaka grabbed two and then made her way out of the crowd adventurers. I see that you didn't have a problem? Mizuki giggled. Laughing. Well, they did say that horned rabbits are a problem, and they never have enough adventurers hunting them down, Ayaka said. Pointing to the hallway, Mizuki said, we should rent out a cart. Before that, how about we let the guild know that we'd be taking a job? Ayaka stopped her friend. Forgetting that they need to report to the guild, Mizuki blushed. Placing an arm around her friend's shoulders, Ayaka led the way towards the lines of people waiting to report to the guild workers. Since each of the lines were equally busy, Ayaka just randomly chose a line and waited. It feels like we'll be here for a while, Mizuki commented. Shrugging, Ayaka said, I mean, we are in a busy part of the day. But it also means that we'll have more time to hunt for horned rabbits. Ayaka looked at the other adventurers. What she noticed was how many of the adventurers were waiting in a group. There were barely any individual adventurers, based on how each of them was talking with people standing next to them. There were a few glances in the direction, but it didn't last long. Instead of looks of interest, it just seemed like how people just checked out their surroundings. Curious as to what people were talking about, Ayaka listened to the adventurers in front of her. For the most part, the conversations were pretty boring to listen to. They were mainly talking about how they were going to handle the monsters or how long it'd take to complete a job. Hey, did you hear about how there were night wolves spotted yesterday? One of the adventurers in front of her said. Hearing about the monsters that they had fought against, Ayaka's ears perked up in curiosity.